How you all doing? Listen, I hope you're all well. It's it's Tuesday, it's the 21st of June, 2011. And uh, I didn't really want to, to make this little video, but I, I decided last night that I'd make it after I finished the last little video. And really what it's about is, it's about mobile phones. And it's about an incident that happened to me over the weekend. And it's about, uh, it's really about people think, thinking for themselves. Uh, I was at a do, a uh, sort of kind of social gathering over the weekend and there was a, at one stage there was 35 people at but then what happened was eventually it ended up there was 19 people at it and the hosts who hosted, it was a fantastic uh, business, really well organised, it was a man's birthday and <coughs> he was a host and he invited all the, all the local people here where I live to go to the birthday and what happened was anyway after the we had a meal and after the meal uh, we were sitting down having cups of coffee and cups of tea and various things and a few people were having glasses of wine and I noticed that they have a big long table and I noticed at the table that there were between six and eight phones sitting at the table and the person who's sitting next to me a lady she was obviously left-handed which at the time I didn't realize she was and when she was she had looked at her phone one of these iPhone things several times and when she finished she put it down beside me and it's kind of subconsciously I didn't do it consciously I moved it because I don't like them I don't I do not like mobile phones and the reason I don't like mobile phones is because uh, many years ago when uh, there were no mobile phones I worked in a college, a technology college in Belfast, teaching part-time, teaching mathematics. And uh, I was getting married at the time. I'll give you an idea, it's a long time ago. And uh, what happened was uh, I decided I needed some money. And uh, I thought it would be a good idea to apply for a job in this college. Anyway, I, to, I don't want to go on about that, that's an irrelevancy. So I had to go several nights a week to do this two hour it was lasted two hours and basically what I was doing was I was trying to teach mathematics to people who could not read or write very difficult I can assure you extremely difficult you have to go back to basics everything has to be subtraction and addition which all, all mathematics is subtraction and addition anyway it all doesn't matter whether it's calculus whatever whatever it is whatever form of mathematics it all boils down to subtraction addition and subtraction so anyway that's another it's another story but in in and being in this college of technology which was quite big in Belfast I met one of the lab technicians and I became friendly with him and uh, he used to tell me what he was doing and everything else and uh, then one day I went in and they told me that he was ill and he would not be in to work and uh, I thought I would ring up to find out how he was and I rang up and they told me he was dead. He was 23 at the time. Okay? 20, yeah, 23. And he was just married. And I never forgot that. And the reason I never forgot it was because I subsequently found out that he was not just the only person who had been seriously ill as a result of working in this particular laboratory. He worked in a, a laboratory and this laboratory was sealed off and the laboratory conducted primary research for a uh, microwave transmission for missiles. I didn't know this but I found out this later. All right, so that's how it works in the UK. What happens is they have, tech, they have technical colleges and universities and a, a Ministry of Defence hands out contracts for them to do research for the Ministry of Defence, okay? And this is what was going on in this particular college. So what they were doing was they were working on a guidance system for a small missile, okay? And it was, was based around uh, microwave technology, which was in a total infancy at that stage, all right? And uh, what happened was they found out that uh, the transmitters, I don't know what power they were, but it's an irrelevancy. It didn't matter, they weren't shielded properly. And uh, <clears throat> the lab tech, some of the lab technicians were exposed to this microwave power coming off them. 
and they all got sick. Uh, and that, yeah, the ones that were exposed to it got ill, and several of them got very ill. And my f the guy that I knew died. Okay, so I never forgot that. I never forgot that this stuff makes you seriously ill and has the potential to kill you. I never forgot that. So when everybody in the world was getting mobile phones and carrying them around with them, I did not do it. I did not go down that route. Now, not because I'm a smart ass or anything like that, just simply because, you know, <clears throat> there's only two ways that you can educate yourself in life that I know of. I mean, other people talk about three ways, but I only know two ways. One's human experience and the other's through formal education. And to me, there is no substitute. There's no substitute in this world for the first, for human experience. And it was my human experience. So I never forgot that. So when people would hand me mobile phones or something like that, I would be very, very reluctant to use them. I, I have one in a car. I have one in my car, but I use it at a distance. I don't put it up in the side of my head or any of that nonsense, okay? So what happened was, the lady was saying and saying, had her phone, and there was loads of other phones, all these iPhones and all lying out on the table. There was at least six of them, I think maybe seven. You know, I, I can't remember, but it was a load of them. And <clears throat> what happened was, I moved it, and the, the lady said to me, is there, is there a problem? And I said, yeah, there is a problem, because I, I, I don't like these things, I said. They give you cancer. I kinda, it kind of spilled out of me. You know, I didn't mean to say it the way it came, came out. I said, I don't like them, they give you cancer. And what had happened was, I said this, and the, uh, as I said it, there was kind of like a lull in the conversation. So this all came out to like a lulled conversation. And the, the person who was my host and his wife kind of responded in a, in a kind of very dramatic manner and said, uh, well, he said, the man said, I've heard that bullshit before. And he said, that's all unproven. And I said, well, look, you know, I believe that I'm entitled to my opinion. This is a republic I, we live in. I'm entitled to my opinion. You're entitled to yours. All I can tell you is that the World Health Organization now supports my viewpoint. Now, I said, they're not doing it. The World Health Organization is not doing it out of any love for mankind or anything. They're only doing it because big insurance companies and big loss adjusting companies have demanded it because they know from the work that's been done all throughout all throughout the Western world, particularly, and, and, and wherever, wherever people are using these things, that large numbers of people are coming down with corneal and brain tumours as a result of having these make, little microwave transmitters up to their head. So the vast majority of people all burst out laughing, first of all, and then they had to think about it, and then they all literally at the same time, well not all of them, but most of them launched into a verbal attack against me and said this was all bullshit, that uh, the microwave that you have in your kitchen, the working microwave that you have in your kitchen, you know, heats up food, works on a different frequency than the microwave that you have up to your ear. And I said, it's only a slight, it's only a slight variance in the frequency, it's, it's tiny. I said, it's still a microwave, it's still a microwave transmitter. I said, it's still a half a watt, about approximately a half a watt of power that, you know, you're holding up to your ear here. And it's transmitting through your brain into the outside world to, to towers that are all around the place. Now, I said, I, I, I didn't do this, but I'm going to do it now. I'm going to put up a little calculation, a very, very, very simple calculation. And I did ask them, but obviously I didn't have a sheet of paper to do the calculation. But I said, uh, what, would you, what, what would you do if I told you to stick your head in a microwave for one minute? What, what would you do? A 600 watt microwave, or sorry, if I, say a 500 watt to keep it simple. 500 watt microwave for one minute. Now, the power involved there is 500 watts multiplied by one minute. So let's put it down as 500 watts, 500 watt minutes, okay? That's the power that's been, what would happen to your brain if you think if you did that? Your brain would be frazzled. 
you, you do irreparable damage to your brain just for one minute so let's keep it real simple let's just say for one minute you do colossal damage to your brain and the chances of getting brain tumors out of it would be colossal okay hugely high now I said just take that calculation and let's put it down then to a half a watt so we're talking about a power output into whatever of 500 watt minutes okay 500 watts for one minute okay so we now have a half a watt transmitter so to get that same power how long would we so we have to have a thousand minutes a thousand minutes is nothing I said I know people that have these things glued to their glued to their ears right left and center I said is it any wonder that the World Health Organization has stepped in and said what they've said and what's going to happen is I said the only reason as I say that that's been done has not been done for man's altruism or for the benefit of the World Health Organization it's only been done because big insurance companies and loss adjusting companies want to ha want to be able to say if there are claims made against them down the line which there will be thousands of claims thousands upon thousands of claims for deaths due to this these 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 things these are lethal these things when you go to sign the agreement there will be a disclaimer on it at the bottom of the phone agreement and it'll tell you that the world health organization has pointed out that mobile phones may cause human cancers that's what it'll say somewhere maybe not in those words but that's what it'll say in small writing in the contract and when you go to make the claim that'll be the disclaimer that'll be put up by insurance company against your claim and you won't have any claim but I just thought I'm just raising it I just think it's interesting I just find the whole of modern technology offensive I think the people who advocate it I find them offensive I don't like them they all say I'm a Luddite I'm no Luddite I welcome things that are for the benefit of mankind for the real benefit of mankind but I don't see these things for the benefit of mankind I don't see these things for the benefit of mankind and I, f I certainly find it extraordinary that just out of the blue that the World Health and I've put the link to it you can have a look at it yourself y you can make your own mind up I've made my I made my mind up a long long time when my friend the laboratory technician died in Belfast with a massive thing behind a size of an orange grew out of nowhere over a period of about six weeks at the back of one of his eyes okay and he was doing this research I made my own deductions and I don't need guys with PhDs or guys with masters or anything else I think for myself and that's all I ask you to do for just think for yourself just wake up and think for yourself because if you don't nobody else is going to do it for you I'm going to talk more.